The heart acts as the pump which enables blood flow around the body within the systemic and pulmonary circulation. Deoxygenated blood returns from the body to the heart via the superior and inferior vena cava, entering the right atrium. The right atrium contracts, forcing blood through the tricuspid valve and into the right ventricle. Following a momentary pause to allow ventricular filling, the right ventricle then contracts, with the resultant pressure causing the shutting of the tricuspid valve and the opening of the pulmonary valve, ejecting deoxygenated blood into pulmonary artery. This deoxygenated blood travels to the lungs via the pulmonary artery. Within the lungs, a gaseous exchange occurs, making it rich with oxygen whilst depositing carbon dioxide for excretion via respiration. The now oxygenated blood flows back from the lungs to the heart via the pulmonary veins and into the left atrium. The left atrium contracts, forcing blood through the bicuspid valve and into the left ventricle. Following a momentary pause to allow ventricular filling, the left ventricle then contracts, with the resultant pressure causing the shutting of the bicuspid valve and the opening of the aortic valve, ejecting oxygenated blood into the aorta. From here, oxygenated blood travels to the rest of the body.